But yeah, no, there was a lot of plays where Jordan Travis wasn't just hitting his easy, um, easy throws to the flats. I was wondering, you know, there's a few times where Cameron McDonald would be open, easy first down there. And, you know, I think Jay Travis was just going for the bigger the plays, should have been just easy, easy dip offs but, to the screens. Yeah, there were times where Parchment, I know he kept trying mm-hmm. to look, you know, Parchment was behind the secondary. And all he had to do was loft it. I know it, it, it would have been sick. So I don't know what he's looking for. Uh, he missed he missed running backs in the flat. I mean, he missed a lot of open guys, and we're going to talk about that in, in a minute. But mm-hmm. maybe let's go talk a little bit about the offensive side too. Now you talk about Jordan Travis and also Mackenzie Milton coming in. Jordan Travis had to leave the field because his helmet <laughs> came off, but then came uh, Mackenzie Milton, and as you can, he, he got banged up too right then. He was little, he, he, Norvell he said he was dealing with calf cramps, and then once Milton came in, they just had to sit. Send the rest of the game, so it's casting, keep cramping up. But mm-hmm. it was pretty clear once Milton had that first twenty-two yarder that it was like, oh, we, we got to stick with this because we need we need yards fast. And it worked. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no yeah. And I thought the tempo between Jordan Travis and, and McKenzie Milton was a lot different. I mean, every every positive play or completion or, or whatever for Florida State, McKenzie Milton was getting the offense right on the ball and, and getting them going again. Whereas I thought things with Travis were. A little bit more slow and not not really with as much pace. I think part of it is Travis is still developing at diagnosing coverages, whereas Milton comes in, he just knows it. I mean, it to me it was easiest to tell like as soon as the ball is snapped, and it seems like Milton has an extra second or two because he already knows what he's doing with the ball. Travis gets the ball and he's looked like he, he sees that first read, then he starts to scramble, he's getting happy feet, then he's trying to extend the play. It, I, I think that's the biggest difference. The, the offense just had such a hard time sustaining drives, especially early. Uh, we, we talked about it in the production meeting. If it wasn't a three and out, it was Florida State was scoring in five plays, five plays or less. Um, I think they had, what was it, four three and outs mm-hmm. with Travis at quarterback. And then finally he had that the 15-play, 75-yard drive. Um late third, early fourth to get the touchdown, had that nice scramble, scramble past the parchment. But it was it was so boomer bust early. And I, I just we need to see more offensive consistency. Yeah, yeah, the points look great. Thir- 38 points against the number nine, number nine team looks great. But it was herky jerky for yeah. a long time there. So uh, um I, I I think I think I believe Norvell in the in the calf careers. I think it was after his sideline run. Um, there was a timeout, and the uh, Milton was kind of starting to get loose and warm up, and the the trainers were working on. I thought they were taping something on on Travis's leg, but look, they were working on his calf, so it, it's quite mm-hmm. possible that he was cramping up. But also, I I think that you know when he, when two. That was a personal foul when Travis lost his helmet. That should have been roughing the quarterback. Um, mm-hmm. But you know when and that Milton went in, on Milton. Yeah, so. yeah. When Milton went in, man, it, it was the flow of the, the offense changed. In my opinion, you know, you know, as, as Austin said, you know, the offense was too boomer bust. You know, you have to be able to sustain drives, and that's against not just Notre Dame, but that's any team. You can't just be so, either or. You have to be able to sustain drives. And I think that's based off, you know, that was just a more experienced quarterback, as Austin said. You know, he 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 he's just more experienced. Um, mm-hmm. But I think that, you know, that that drive, Milton what, what had the team moving. So why, why 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 switch it out? I think they were giving him a little bit of opportunity to see what he had, and. They stuck with it, and when he he came in with a under nine minutes left, right, like eight minutes fifty four seconds, I think is when yeah. he came in, and, and that that comeback was quick. Uh, I I just think that the offense looks better under under McKenzie Milton, um, and, big- and I, I I know there's been people saying I'm 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 bashing Travis and all this stuff. I just don't think that he's a ready to be a full quarterback yet. I just I'm I'm not there yet. He has a role. Both of them have a have a role in this team. Travis is is an important player for this offense. Um, 
But I just felt overall that McKenzie Milton, when he came in, the offense just it, it picked up its pace. It moved the ball. He made better decisions. The biggest you know? the, the biggest standout to me was the, the touchdown drive to get within three. You know, he held in the pocket and delivered a strike over the middle to I, I forget the receiver. I, I think it was Helton maybe. Where he just it put was, it in it right. Was it, he it just put it right over the top of the linebacker, but he stuck in and took a hit. We, we didn't see Travis do that because as soon as he sensed pressure, he was trying to get out of the pocket. That, that's what this team needs. They need someone that can just deliver strikes like that. And th- once he started doing that, Notre Dame had to, respect the, had to respect the pass, which they weren't doing all game. And once that mm-hmm. happened, then all the running stuff started opening up. No, I, yeah, this, or- this offense is so much more multifaceted, in my opinion, when, when Milton's going like that. Yeah, and, you know, early on, you know, they're trying to screen stuff, you know, in, in the first quarter. You know, I, I think that, you know, Norval noticed just how, how, how little they respected the wide receivers and, you know, they were bringing the pressure. And I think that Norval saw, saw that, understood it, and tried to go screen game. And how many times did he overthrow the running back? Two or three times? And, it was two and, times and, in a row in that first quarter. And, and, and it was open. Like, you complete that pass, and that's going for 15 to 20. It's open. So, you know, just the composure. And that's all I'm going to say because, you know, we're a family podcast. Nah. Going back to McKenzie Milton, though, I mean, I, I really did think he made a couple of, of impressive plays. You know, he made that shovel pass whenever he was in traffic. Looked like he was about to get stacked. The and shovel pass was first sexy. Down. Nah. Um, I think I think it was kind of like a botched play where either he went the wrong way or whatever, but he he just like tucked the ball down and ran it for, for a couple yards for like that seven or eight yard scramble, whatever it was. So I mean just his ability to to recognize things so quickly and then make the right decision. I mean, that's what Florida State is gonna need in this offense. And then, and you also have to point out his his throwaway on the on the botch snap. Yeah, he, he somehow just picked the ball up and throw it away. I mean, that's just that's something you don't get from someone that's not a fifth year quarterback. Like that that was imp- as impressive as anything else he did last night. Can we I talk mean, credit about to, that real quick? Yeah, but I just want to say like credit to the dude's yeah. moxie for coming out. You know, his first game in in like a thousand days or or whatever after this horrific yeah. knee injury. Coming in down double digits in the fourth quarter against a top ten team, and then just having the balls to nearly lead Florida State back in eight minutes. I mean, credit to McKenzie Milton. I, I really do think if he would have played, you know, the entire second half or, or what you have at Florida State, probably wins this game. It was cool to see Jordan Travis too, while McKenzie Milton was, you know, going down the field playing well and also celebrating with uh, McKenzie Milton and being there for him and supporting him, you know, that's something that you just love to see. And I I like that those two are close with one another.